Hi everyone, it's John the Dyslexic Geek here. In today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Brixmax uh, lighting kit. This particular one is for the Emperor's Throne Room Diorama. And this kit was kindly sent to me by Brixmax, so thank you very much to them for sending me this. Uh, I'd be interested to see what this is like compared to the light aiding kit that I've done a review of a few weeks ago. And this particular kit uh, costs $40. Yeah, so I'm really interested to see what's inside this little box and I'll give you my full thoughts on and opinions on this set when it's actually assembled. So let's open it up and take a look. Okay, so let's first take a look at, look, look at the box. As you can see, it shows it for the throne room uh, di diorama. And quite a nice looking little box, not much on the side. Uh, bits and pieces on the back, so very similar to the light hailing kit. Um, I do believe they are the same company, so I imagine what's in this box is probably going to be very similar to the Indiana Jones uh, lighting kit I received a few weeks ago. So let's open this up, let's have a look. I'm really intrigued to see how, if this one does vary at all. Um, probably not too much, I want to have thought. So let's have a look. Let's open this one up. So let's remove that packaging. Uh, another bit of sellotape underneath here. We need to do away with that should be it so there we go so look what we've got in here then so here we have um, I believe um, some red uh, light strips um, so it'll be interesting to see how these uh, go on nice good sturdy plastic box good so in here we've got bits and pieces nicely packaged do like this bubble wrap really secure so what we've got in here, we've got some uh, some blue uh, dot lights, 15 centimeters of blue dot lights, um, 10, uh, 30 centimeters of white dot lights, uh, some expansion boards, 12 port expansion boards, uh, 15 centimeters of connecting cables. God, these really are very small. Uh, it's very different. It's a very different sort of setup to the light hailing ones. So it's, it, Seems to be a lot more elements to it. Uh, also here we have the USB cable and the battery box. I think the battery box is probably going to be exactly the same as the light hailing one. Let's have a look. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same. Just slides off so it takes three AA batteries, which is all fine. And up top we have the, the, the on off switch over there. So yeah, so there's quite a lot of um, Bits and quite a lot of bits and pieces. So these look really very look tiny. Look the wires look ever so slightly thicker than maybe the uh, light hailing ones are. So it'll be interesting to see how they assemble. And then here we have the instructions. Which look good. Let's open these up. Do away with that. So again, we have a customer service booklet. So that's pretty good. That's that in there. Uh, a generic uh, user guide of how to use the wires and what not to do and all that. But it looks like it's in multiple languages, which is also really good. And then the actual instructions themselves, which was good to see. Uh, like the light hailing ones, the instructions are very cool. You see, you have these little guides telling you exactly what to do and do it during each stage, which is really good and really helpful. So they're quite easy, easy to follow. As you can see, sort of wires. Yeah, look, that looks, there's, a, there's nothing too daunting in here. So overall, I think there's like 65, 60, or 68 steps to follow. So yeah, that's pretty good. So let's get this um, assembled on the on the throne room, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all assembled. Okay, I've got the light kit installed now. Uh, it's quite a tricky one to do. Not the, not as easy as the last uh, Indiana Jones set I done, but. There's a lot more um, LED lights in this one, so that's to be, to be expected. So where we have got LEDs then, all these round here, these are all LED, each of these individual um, pieces that, that now has a little light on, light on it. We have an LED sort of red strip around here. And what's really cool is that the lightsabers uh, have a little uh, LED, light LED underneath that it causes them to light up, which is a really good effect. Uh, in terms of the wiring, there's quite a bit of wiring as you can see underneath here. Uh, that was quite tricky installing all these uh, little wires into these little jumpers. Uh, a little bit fiddly to do, but uh, there are stick there are little um, sticky tabs to attach this. But I'll do that at a later point. But you can attach it. 
Um, it's not too bad. It's still neat and tidy. Um, you can't really see the wires. I so say you turn, you turn it around. There's no wires. It's just you can just see make out here a couple of wires coming from the lightsabers, which doesn't really intrude on on the set. Really, I think you can pull them a little bit more tighter. So overall, they look pretty good. Um, so we have the battery pack installed. So let's dim the lights and uh, see what these look like with with in the in, in in the dark. Okay, with the lights off now, let's turn it on in three, two, one, on. And there we go. I mean, as you can see, the camera's not picking up too well. If I, if you want these uh, LEDs here are super bright, uh, but as you can see, they're really they certainly are bright. You can't doubt that. Uh, but we go inside here. You can see the lightsabers lit up. And this LED light strip that goes around the top it looks really cool, actually. I really do like the red; it looks really good. Uh, if you put your hands over the sort of light, you can sort of see how how bright they are. Maybe these LEDs maybe a little bit too bright, maybe. Um, but that's it. That's the effect on the camera. It's not really picking up too well, but it does look good in person, if you know what I mean. Um, so as we spin it around, you can sort of see the lights in more deep, you know, a little bit more from different perspectives. See the, see the light round there, it does look really cool around the archway. Then you move it round here. I love it from this angle, it does actually look really good when you see it lit up. And it looks really good effect, I must admit they're super bright. But I say, I just think these may be a little bit too bright, ever so slightly, but it's not been much of a complaint, but I do love the lightsabers. Um, I think they look really cool lit up. I think it's like a rude, would like Lego to have done years ago with lightsabers, and there'd be nothing that would lift up all these lightsabers lit up. And they do look good. So that's it with all the in with all the LEDs on. I think it looks really, really good. And say with the naked eye and myself, I like the look of it. And it certainly does bring a whole other dimension to it. It really is pretty impressive. Okay, so overall, I have to say I'm very impressed with this Bricks Max kit. Uh, it certainly does look really good on on this. It looks really good on the, on this model. I know the camera doesn't pick up this too well in the light, but the light LEDs around here are nice and super bright. Uh, maybe on this little mod, on this model look, look really very bright if you know what I mean. But if you had these inside a modular uh, or something like that, like that, it really would stand out incredibly well. I do love the light up lightsabers. That's really cool. Certainly something I wish Lego had done a long time ago. Um, yeah, really good effect. Tricky to put the, put it together, but not impossible. Just take it. Take it. Have to be patient with it and take your time with it and don't rush it. Um, but the wire system is well hidden. I like how the wires are on like little cords, so you can easily wind them around. That's sort of different to the um, uh, light tailing kits. But yeah, really good. Um, thoroughly recommend um, Bricks Max. Uh, please check out their website for uh, more details. I have left links in the description below for the, both this particular kit and to the Bricks Max website. Um, check out all the kits that they do. They do set do lights kits for a wide variety of Lego sets. Yeah, very good. So please let me know in the comments what you think of these uh, light kits. Is this, are, you, are you familiar with Bricks Max? Um, can I please ask you to leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'll be very grateful if you would consider subscribing today. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.